Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're making DIY baby powder. All you'll need is a few powders, a jar, and some essential oils. The first powder that I'm making is bergamot. This is my favorite essential oil ever. So right here I have ground oatmeal and you want to make sure that you pulse this oatmeal very very fine because it can be a little grainy for the little baby's bum and i also forgot to show me pouring in my kaolian clay i think that's how you pronounce it and so what you do is you pour some in pour your oatmeal in and pour your other powder that you want to use in and you shake it up and so this one is bergamot and i'll have all the recipes below in the description box so that you can follow along if you want to make these kind of recipes but this one is bergamot which i love and i added in the essential oil twice and look how it pours it's so perfect and it smells so yummy yay so our second one is geranium and this one smells like roses so what i have here is my kaolian clay and i use one third cup of that and then I pour it in my little jar. Now, these jars that I got were from my local health food store and they are so perfect. They're actually seasoning shakers, so why not use these? These are really easy to use. So I'm gonna put half of my kaolian clay in there. And kaolian clay is really good for the skin. It helps bring out um, toxins and it's very nice feeling for the skin it's also a soft clay as well next is cornstarch now cornstarch is really cool it helps to make the kaolian clay a little bit more uh movable movable which i mean kaolian clay can be kind of sticky kind of powder which is weird because it's a powder but it can be so the cornstarch helps and then we're going to add our essential oil we're going to add it the first time just a few drops here it looks like I'm doing a ton but really just a few and then we're gonna put the cap on and shake 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 now that we mixed up the first couple of drops of the essential oil I went ahead and add a few more just because I want the powder to smell really good and fresh shake 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 and this pours beautifully as well look at that nice also you want to make sure that you label the jars so that you don't get confused on which one you want to use so make sure you label them the next powder that i'm making here is grapefruit and this one smells so fresh and clean and what i used for my ingredients were arrowroot powder and kaolian clay Now with these recipes, you don't have to have exact measurements. It's just something to do to just have fun and have a baby powder that is talc free and toxin free. That's why I made these powders because so many chemicals are in so many baby products. And so I just really had fun with this. I just used some stuff that I had around the house, bought some essential oils that I thought smelled good and that were also good for baby's bottoms. And that's it. What's a DIY if there's no fun in there? So yeah, just make sure to have fun and make it your own. You can see how this pour, the powder is a little bit thicker. That's because of the kaolian clay. So my next one is probably my favorite one because of the vanilla abstract. And the two powders that I have here are oatmeal and the kaolian clay. I use the kaolian clay as bases for most of the powders because I just love the texture of it. It's very soft, like I was saying. And so also make sure that your oatmeal is ground up very good because you don't want to have little grainy pieces of oatmeal because it can do that. And just, you know, like I said, add as you go, add as, as much as you want and just have fun with it. I also used a lavender as my essential oil. So vanilla abstract and lavender, oh, perfect combo. If you want to learn how to create a unique lifestyle that is natural, organic, and innate to you, go ahead and subscribe today because this is what this channel is all about. 
And also make sure to hit the bell button so you never miss out when I upload a new video. I added a few drops here more because this I decided I was gonna use for his bedtime powder. So a little bit more lavender just so he can start to get tired and sleepy. A little trick up my sleeve. Well, this is the final shake and the pour is amazing. Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.